Smack and Jack's now live. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we're there. All right, that took a couple minutes, folks, oh, but, oh, I, but I think, we're, I think we're on there. I think we are on there, yeah. Uh, we are live. Yeah. So we can go ahead and start, thing. Keith. Uh, we can that's start. Funny. Linda was watching. We had people watching before. Now I don't see they're watching, but. Anyway, well, we're going to start. Hey, guess what time it is, Joel? What time is it, Keith? It's time once again for Smack and Jack Live. Yay! In lovely Chester County. Uh, where are we? Pennsylvania. And again, it's not snowing right, or yeah, precipitating it's at nice all. Sunny day we got sun out is there. At, sun is out. It's about 20 degrees out there, which is Indeed. too cold for me. Uh, but here we are. Yeah, we're back on now. Uh, so anyway, we've got uh, we've got a great show for you today. We've got our prologue. Uh, we got something about a dream board. I don't know yeah. what, exactly what that is, but you're going to tell us, Joel. Yep. Uh, we got our jokes. Uh, we're going to talk about somebody's electric vest. It isn't mine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> questionable post. Yeah. A, what is a yeah, questionable post? What is a questionable post? post? Uh, we got trivia. We got facts. We got trivia answers and the ever popular birthday minute. So uh, glad you're watching today. Grab your cup of coffee, sit back, relax, and we will be right back. All right. Here we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Flenderman. Hey, sending our uh, sister Linda, because we saw her earlier, sending her a note. Now we don't see her. Yeah, now we don't see her. Everybody, so, hoping we haven't, haven't we glitched out somewhere? Yeah, that is we're certainly on, happened uh, But now we don't see our audience. So anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. It's always a pleasure doing the show. It's always good to see you too, Joel. Yeah, good to see Brother you, Joel. Keith. You know, you're not looking a day older than 50. Wow, thanks. I've never been so complimented. You're only like a week older than see. So you know, my time is life. time is been good to you. Has yeah. been good to you. So far, fifty has been great to me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're over the uh, arc there. That's so. right. That's All right, right. What do we got going on today, Joel? What's what's in the pro? Well, you see, going across the bottom there. Yes. Uh, and this is a little bit more localized for our local friends in the uh, Philadelphia area, metropolitan area. Are you more tired of the Carson Wentz Nick Foles debate? Which, right. which, if you listen to talk uh, sports talk radio, which I unfortunately do probably more than I should, um, are you tired of that debate yet? Which has been going on for the last at least two months. Yes. <laughs> or are you more tired of the uh, New England Patriots being in the Super Bowl again? And seeing them on the news, going through their press conferences, oh, yeah. and there they are again. Does it get you at the, the, the pit of your stomach? Um, I know what my answer is, you know, because the Foles Wentz thing has only been going on for four months. This thing's been going on for is it eight or nine? Is this is her eighth time or ninth time in the Super Bowl? Uh, I I kind of lost track. It's eight Let's or nine. It, it's it's pretty darn. Uh, uh, it's it's been a long time, yeah. and you know, after a while, you know, they get arrogant. You know, just the way uh, what's his name was acting last year after the, the their loss. You know, our win. You know, you're just tired of it. And, and you got to think, there's no other team in the country. And it, that's the other thing kind of annoys you, that they're that good every year. You know? Right, right. Or the, the uh, referees like them that much every year. Right. So that's I my agree. answer. What, what's your answer? Joel? So, um, well, my answer is yes. It does get me in the pit of my stomach. Like, Hey, Brad. Brad's on. on. Okay, good. I think, um, yeah, unfortunately, I, I may have... Uh, Kind of mess things up again on this stream. I think I started a new stream when I said go live. Oh, okay. So we are on live, of course, but we're not on the same. Um, <laughs> we're not on the same page. We're not on the <laughs> same one as we were uh, before. Okay. So that's what happened. Um, should we try it? I, I don't know. I don't know if I can do anything there. Sorry about that, folks. Um, what redo the whole thing? Yeah. Well, we got people on, so yeah. we're, we're, we're going to keep going. We'll post this a little bit later. So um, anyway, getting back to the um, the debate. Sorry, uh, it just you know when I see them, I'm like, uh, man, Eagles, 
Eagles should be there, but you know, yeah. it's, it's a game of plays. It is. You it miss is. your plays. Yep, and yep. And it only takes a second. To yeah, so we're going to not going to cry ourselves away on this one. We do have the Pro Bowl this weekend, which That's means right. absolutely nothing. But uh, yeah, Does anybody watch the Pro Bowl? I, I'm going to think I'm going to watch it this week. What's the, what's the big guy that just got, he was he was snubbed out of it, and then they brought him back in. Ertz? Uh, no, no. Cox? Yeah, what's, what's Ertz's first name? Zach. Zachary. Yeah, yeah, it was Zachary. I think it was yes, him. Yes, yes, yes. They were talking to the other day. Yes. Yeah. yeah so. so, yeah, how can you make record number of catches in a season and not be part of the program? Yes. You know, right. So, but anyway. anyway so. Okay, so let's move on. We're not going to whine and cry about yes. that. Okay, so we missed our prologue music because we're all messed up here right. with that. Actually, you know what? We did have um, we something had it, was we had going, going on, on yes. in the very beginning. Yeah. We had right. it going on in the beginning. Okay, so we're going to talk about the dream board, folks. And we're going to bring Joel, back. What is a dream board? Well, Think of a dream board as like uh, writing out your goals. Okay. Um, when you write your goals out on paper, a dream board is basically putting those goals in picture on okay. a um, like a poster board, um, or maybe something a little bit more sturdy than a poster board, but putting your pictures uh, so that you can see and remind yourself of your dreams. Okay. So uh, I thought about that again as I was reading this book by Anik, and I'm uh, I just read a little bit from this book today. We we touched on it a little bit last week, um, but let's put on some dream board music. There we go. All right, so in his book, Onik, and I'm going to have some examples. I'll show you in, in, in a couple minutes here okay. of what dream boards look like. But dream boards are visual representations of your goals. You can include pictures, words, colors, anything that inspires you and puts you in the mindset you're trying to achieve. Okay, so again, just, you know, seeing your goals, reading your goals on a daily basis. Okay. Um, and uh, again, that's what... So all, this is something you have... Yeah, like you can hang it on your wall. Right, like in your office or something in a room you're going to be in it every exactly. day. Okay. So, and he, he has a couple dream boards. He has one in his office. He has one at home. Okay. And he has it on his computer desktop, too. So, okay. whenever he opens his computer, he's, you know, he has it right there. Right. Okay. Uh, he said he, he found a quiet corner of the house and made a list of my goals. Nothing was off the table. If my heart desired it, it was on the list. I covered the following categories, and our categories may differ, but this is some of the ones that he came up with. Spiritual, health relationships, wealth, philanthropy, and materialistic, meaning materialism, etc. right? right. Mm -hmm. um, so by the time he was done, he had 16 goals written down, and not a cell in my body had any doubt. I knew that if I kept my focus on them, each and every one was achievable, okay? Um, here are some examples of what his dream board said. Raise a million dollars in donations, okay? And he said, notice how it was specific. Raise a million dollars in donations. Speak in front of 5,000 plus people. Open the first Learn Center, and that's kind of his company where Goodness. He trains, uh, does a lot of training. Okay. Lose 30 pounds. There you go. Very specific, right? Earn 500000 through day trading. So that's, you know, investing and so forth. Invest 15 minutes a day praying. Um, this was a small sample of his 2018 goals. Um, how I did, I got multiple copies of poster board, printed it to use in both my home and office. I changed the background on my phone and computer to an image of my dream board. So that's just as easy as just taking a snapshot, right? right. Mm -hmm. Spent at least one minute a day looking at it. I kept the written list folded in my wallet. I shared my board with my wife and instantly built accountability. So when you, again, when you share your, your uh, goals and your dream board with other people, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you create that accountability that you just can't push it off to the next right. day yes. or forget about it, right? Because you're, you're creating that accountability for yourself. Um, so mm -hmm. he goes on that just three months later, five of the 16 dreams had already come true. In just three months, I had finished nearly 33% of the goals on my dream board, and it felt as if it was almost effortless. Wow. Okay? So, um, so that's some other information. Now, dream boards obviously are not his but he's just saying how he used his dream board. So right, let's, yes. let's see some examples of what a dream board might look like. Okay. Okay. So if I go up here, yay, it's kind of working. Okay. So on this dream board, we see, uh, and the other thing is, is that they also suggest that you put down a, a sentence as if you've already achieved your goal. Okay. So this dream board here, obviously 2010, that doesn't matter. I am a happy and grateful now I found my soulmate. So maybe that person hasn't found somebody yet, but right. writing in that uh, uh, tense of I already have, right? Okay. I am happy and grateful now I have a uh, million dollars in my bank account. Okay. I'm happy that I am healthy, joyful, and so forth. So you're kind of writing it as if you've already um, achieved, achieved it. it 
and therefore your subconscious has already kind of bought into it. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go on to our next one here. Um, similar, a little bit different. This one has a little bit more words on it and so forth. So um, if you look up dream boards, you'll find this one. The one that I do like in the upper right-hand corner, if you don't take risks, you will always work for someone who does. Um, and again, that's, um, it, as I said before the show, those are calculated risks. And Anik is very uh, particular about that. Entrepreneurs are, are not just throwing you know, hope and everything to the wind. Okay, they, they do their studying right. and they, they take calculated risks. Okay, all right, and then the last picture here of the dream board is just one I throw in here so that we can have um, kind of an idea of how to put one together. Um, oh, yeah, we're back on the big screen again. <laughs> for yeah. Sorry about oh, nice. that. Um, I, I'm just checking to make sure we're still on here, folks. Sorry. Um, yeah, there we are. Okay. Yeah, pretty good on this side. So, um, <clears throat> This board here just kind of gives you an idea of how to set one up, okay? Anatomy of an effective vision board or dream board, which we're talking about. You have your action plan. Uh, it's very clear, you know, don't be vague with your goals. You have your deadlines. Uh, you put in some visuals, as we saw in the other ones, mm -hmm. okay? Pictures of maybe where you want to go, maybe of the cars you want to own. Um, put in your emotions uh, and leave room for adjustments, okay? You can add to it. Maybe you've changed some of your goals or something like that. Um, I would say leave room for adjustments, but don't don't let that room for adjustments be like huge, right? Because all of a sudden, then you're back to square one again, right? Yeah, you know? no defined line of what exactly, you want to do. Yes. right? With not being particular. So that's uh, that's why I wanted to bring okay. to uh, point today about all of the books. Again, I say this over and over again. Everybody recommends that you write down your goals write down your directions of where you want to go and so forth because if you don't you don't you don't know where you're going right right you know you um, have no direction so and that that's true no matter what you're doing um, no matter who you are what are your goals what do you want to achieve and you know put a timeline on them okay and I, I, again I, I need to do more of that myself I, I try to uh, to adhere to some of the goals that I've written down um, and you know it's a process of learning how to do that mm -hmm. How's that sound? Sounds good. Sounds yeah. really good, Joel. Yeah. yeah it is. Okay. So stuff to think about there. And, so uh, let us know how your dream boards go, folks. And it doesn't need to be like gigantic. It can be, you know, eight, you know, eleven by yeah, I just eight did, and a half by know, eleven piece of paper. Thumbtack on a, you know, a picture with a little yeah. Start at least yes. start. Yes. You know, give it a start. See what happens, right? Okay, okay. So what's that bring us to? Well, it looks like we got some jokes coming up. Is that right? We do have jokes coming up. <laughs> jokes. So let's and get to our where joke those of the day. Jokes are coming from. Where the where are the jokes coming from? Jokopedia. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> A little bit more sound there. Yeah, we can turn up the audience. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, the audience <laughs> is awake. We haven't heard from the audience yet today. All right. And stop. Okay. What do we got, Joel? Let's get to joke number one. We got a hey, little Barbara. rhythm going on over there. Okay. Okay. How is a basketball player like a baby? How? They both dribble. <laughs> yes. All right. Another second I would have gotten that myself. What has four wheels and grows on a vine? Uh, what? A skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't have my glasses on. Okay. Uh, it. But, All right. Uh, why do scientists love baseball? Why? They love looking at slides. <laughs> Why are tennis games so loud? Why? Because the players raise a racket. <laughs> All right, one more. One more. No, Boy, these are regular answer. gut busters yeah. today, Joel. When do ball players get emotional? When? When they choke up on the bat. <laughs> Yes, yes, very good. All right. Very good. Thank you, folks. Yep, thank you. Hey, those you know are, what? Those are jokes you can share. Cho choice of jokes. Uh, Brad, I'm glad you're happy with the choice of jokes. I'm, <laughs> very I'm, good. I'm a little out. Uh, I'm going to keep my uh, res whatever. Your comments to yourself? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, good. Moving on. Okay. What we got here? Electric vest. Oh, yeah, the electric so, vest. What yeah. is an electric vest? And why are we bringing up the electric vest? Well, I wanted to show you. Uh, I know what the electric slide is, Linda. Do we know what the electric slide is? 
All right, so the vest that I'm wearing is an electric vest that I bought for myself uh, just after Christmas. Okay. And just before my, um, what's that sound? Out there. I thought Cars. It was my, yeah, no, I thought it was my phone. Um, so just after Christmas and before uh, my birthday, and it comes with a battery. It looks like this. Okay, and I plug it in down here. Here's a cord that comes out, oh, nice. and I plug yeah. it in. Yep, just like that. And and then I turn it on. Check this out. See that? The lights nice. come on, and I have different levels. Oh, nice. Different yeah, power settings. Yeah, different okay. power levels. Nice. Yeah, so, of course, all the way up is hot, and, you know, right around there. It's just kind of, kind of keeping me comfortable, okay. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so why did I buy this electric vest? Well... Because I thought that maybe riding the motorcycle in the cooler weather, wearing my electric vest would help me out. Right. Yeah. So uh, I haven't tried it out on the motorcycle yet, but I have tried it out sitting in my living room. And it, <laughs> yeah, it works pretty Saving well. Saving on your energy bills. That's huh? right. I, I turned it on this morning because I came down. I was like, man, it is kind of chilly. So in do, you, do you have them for the rest of the family is my question. Uh, no, just, just for me. A late Christmas present just for, for me. everybody. Um, so I did want to share the electric. So anyway, let me, um, let me show you what my post was. Uh, uh, um, if I can find it here. My electric vest post. There it is. Oh, okay. So that's me. Yeah. I posted that a couple weeks ago. Uh, core heated clothing. Uh, you can get gloves and all that stuff, but um, I just thought I'd share that. Yeah. It, it was about $80, I think, so it is a little pricey, but it's a lot less than most of the other ones. Mm -hmm. And this one comes with its own battery. Uh, a lot of the other ones, you have to buy the battery separate. Okay. And a lot of the other ones are USB, uh, as far as you can charge it w through a USB cord, which right. is, is good as well. Uh, but I, I liked this one because it did come with its own battery. And as a matter of fact, it came with two batteries. Oh. Um, yeah. So, and I just yeah. thought of a use for it. Uh, in the summertime, I go into the supermarket a lot, and when you get into the <laughs> yeah, dairy right. section, it that's is right. quite cold. When it's like a thousand degrees yeah. outside, and then you go in to get so maybe right. you might want to take that along yeah. when you're doing your shopping in the summer. So, uh, yeah, uh, good idea. Uh, Shut up! <laughs> I kid yeah. you not, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, okay, so that's where my electric vest. Okay. All right, let's move on to questionable posts. Questionable posts. Questionable posts. Post. Yeah. Exactly. So, have you ever gotten a post that comes across your feed and you're like, oh man, that's kind of gross? Yes. All right, well, I've got, yes. Yeah, I Probably get a, every day. I get plenty of them. And uh, this comes from my friend Ed. And Ed actually has a birthday this week, so he's going to be in the. Uh, the birthday shout out but let's take a look at the uh the questionable post of the day maybe we can find more of these but here it is oh, oh my man. god what is yeah. that um uh that is a th that's a that thumb is, I, I saw a nail on just it just to yeah. be clear Ooh, that's a thumb holy cow <laughs> Um, and apparently, uh, sorry, sorry, Ed, because that looks very painful, look painful, but apparently he was slicing an onion and uh, his thumb got in the way. But do you ever get a post where you're like, oh my God, yeah. man, I don't want to see that? Well, that's what I thought originally as well. So, uh, Ed, I hope you're feeling better. That was Watch out for the onion. Yeah. I got a, a post uh, a year or so ago. Somebody got hurt in a hockey game or something. I was like, oh, man, you can't. Uh, Do you have to post this yes, stuff? Like, is, yeah. it, is it necessary? <laughs> is it really necessary? Well, I guess they want to share their pain. They want to share your joy and share I your guess pain. so. I guess so. Yeah, All so, right. Okay. Anyway. What let's, next here? Uh, let's do some trivia. Trivia. Uh, we'll read through the trivia as usual. Okay. And then we'll do some facts. And then we'll come back for the trivia answers. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to our trivia posts. See if I can find the um, trivia slide here. The, there. Okay, so, trivia. All right, what we got, Keith? Okay, in the arcade game Joust. Oh, I'm sorry. We forgot to tell everybody. Go ahead and type in your answers. Oh, here. right, yes. Yeah, right, um, and, right uh, we're going to read them off. Yep. Type in your answers, and then we'll come back in a little bit and read them off. So, you know, we'll, we'll keep tr uh, try to keep track of everybody's answers. Yeah. So whatever you think, just just jot it down, and we'll, we'll get back to you yep. and see who's right. Yep. And, uh, and if you get them right, you get a congratulations. Yes. And That's they our... come out uh, 
They're sent out postage due, I believe, yeah, aren't they? That's right. So the mailman will knock on your door and say, "Well, you got to congratulate us, but you got to pay thirty-nine cents stamp or whatever a stamp is now." Right, so right. A little bit more than that. In the arcade game Shouse, the player controls a knight riding what flying animal? Okay, okay. I have no What's idea. That? Okay, here's a good one. Uh, the NBA's the NBA's Memphis Grizzles. Formerly played in what Canadian city? We'll, we'll go with Grizzlies, but Grizzles is good. What did I say, Grizzles? <laughs> yeah. I've been trying that all morning. <laughs> Grizzlies. Memphis, Memphis Grizzlies. I'm trying all to right. picture a, a, a grizzly bear in Memphis, Tennessee. I think it may be. Folks, if you get any of these right, good for you. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what fruit is thrown at the annual food fight festival held in Buno, Spain? Well, help Bu us. Buno, Buno, Spain. Spain. Yeah, so uh, What fruit folks. is thrown at the annual food fight festival held in Buno, Spain? Uh, okay. All right, moving on. Uh, what late what late disc jockey was the voice of Shaggy in the cartoon Scooby Doo? Where are you? I know that one. If you don't know that, Brad, we got to have a talk. <laughs> uh, what was the first ever wrestler to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame? All right. Okay, uh, the Egyptian symbol for the Egyptian symbol Arabos depicts a serpent eating what? Arabos. Does that sound right? Yeah, Araboros or something like that. Or, okay, yeah. Araboros. Okay. Gotta, uh, uh, what Star Trek The Next Generation actor uh, hosted the children's show Reading Rainbow? I know that too. I actually don't know his name, but oops, I gave half of it away. Oh, you gave it it's, a hit. It's okay, a hit. so, so they that, were in the that's about it. Okay, so to recap, the arcade game Joust, the player controls a knight riding what flying animal? NBA's Memphis Grizzlies came from what Canadian city? What fruit is thrown at the annual food fight festival held in Bueno, Spain? Uh, sorry about that. What late disc jockey was the voice of Scooby-Doo? Um, who was the first ever wrestler to be inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame? The ancient Egyptian symbol Ouroboros depicts a serpent eating what? What Star Trek Next Generation actor hosted the Reading Rainbow? All right. And yeah, that's good. Okay. okay yeah, we got so some questions, uh, some answers coming in already. Yeah. Well, pretty good. Cool. All Looking right. Pretty good. Shall we go on to our uh, facts of the day? We're going to stay right here and go on to our facts of the day. Natalie's on. Cool. Oh, Let's Natalie. go back to our uh, trivia okay. music. All right. You want to read this one? Facts of the day? Okay. I'll so this is more reading than I've done in probably 10 years, so it's, I'm getting a little... Uh, a typical microwave oven uses more electricity keeping its digital clock on standby than it does heating food. I find that must be a lie. I don't agree with that. Yes, uh, it's digital clock on stand... What does that mean? Like if, if I don't it, know, just... I mean, the, the clock itself or when you have it, you, you pause it? I don't know. Yeah, it's, I it's, have no idea, but... When we use the microwave in conjunction with two other items on the counter, we blow Something the circuit. Something blows out, yeah. yeah. And so. we never blow the circuit with just the clock on. Yeah, so, so. if there's any electricians in the yeah, house, can you let uh, us know let and us clarify know about this? this. Yeah. yeah, we're downing that one. Okay, go ahead. A 14th cent in 14th century England, some children were baptized in cider. Wow, that must be. Like and a, that that's great. And my question is, is it hard cider? Because English. Yep, hard cider is very popular. Nonetheless, it's, uh, it's got to be a sticky situation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 wait, the wait, operating oh. cost of GPS is just over $2 million a day. And you were saying what? Uh, they're probably making about $2 billion yeah, a day on so it. Yeah, so that's probably pennies, that, right? Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. A Pakistan court banned Valentine's Day celebrations across the country in 2017, since the holiday is not a part of Muslim tradition which I find fascinating because... The Valentine, I thought that was uh, uh, made up by Hallmark. We and... thought it was just Hallmark, yeah, yeah. in the United States. Yep. Who are we to know? Yeah. All right, moving on. Okay. Way before the web, France had Minitel since 1978, an online service that gave its users access to online shopping, search engines, porn, of, uh, of course, course, and message boards. It reached 25 million users in the 90s, connecting to more than 23,000 services. That's pretty interesting. That is something. Yeah. 40 years ago, yeah. uh, French, you know, you yeah. know they're good knows, with uh, yeah. cheese, and apparently <clears throat> more than twice as many people were guillotined by the Nazis as during the French Revolution. Yeah, we find that That's, pretty fascinating. That is, too. yeah, you don't yeah. hear too much about that. Yeah. Hmm. 
All right, anyone can become a legal citizen of Dominica in the Caribbean for a hundred thousand dollars. See, I could solve all our problems it's, here in the United States. Yeah, just, just pay a hundred grand. Charge yeah. everybody for citizenship. Yeah, yeah. Just make it out to our name, right? Yeah, right. Uh, the Eiffel Tower was inaugurated the same year Nintendo was formed and Adolf Hitler was born. Yeah, in very interesting. Isn't that very something? Very interesting, yeah. So Nintendo, Nintendo. Uh, as we know, is a game company, but they... You know, they, they made games way back then. They, they must were... have made little blocks and things like that. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, yeah. So somebody chime yeah. in. What did they do before then? Okay. All right. All right. We have a couple more here. Disney quietly cut ties with McDonald's in 2006 so as not to be associated with childhood obesity. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And 7% uh, of all American adults believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows, a survey found. I just cannot believe now, that. Now, if I think it's eight. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, Joe. I think it's eight percent. Oh no! To your brain, one sleepless night is the cognitive cognitive equivalent of being legally drunk. Wow! Yeah, I will that? never know that sensation. All right, this the, one's yours. Uh, sleepless. <clears throat> the aging Greek philosopher Heraclides, I, I, we had it before. Heraclides uh, attempted to cure a serious illness by laying in the sun covered in cow dung. He died the following day. Yeah, so lesson learned. Do not no cover matter, yourself in, in any kind in of dung. <laughs> yeah, uh, no matter how bad you feel. Don't use that as your... Uh... Shut up! Uh, uh, your last-ditch effort. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the trivia. Are we okay. there? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Trivia. All right, so we got some people chiming in here, right? All right, for the trivia. All right, so trivia answer number one. Uh, um, so we got here, okay. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. Yeah, we got some answers yeah. going on here. Horse okay. tomatoes, of our Burton, Burton, okay, I see. Okay, so here we go. Arcade game, Joust. The player controls a knight riding what flying animal? Survey says ostrich. Oh, okay. Wow. Ostrich. Okay, I Somebody see a horse here. Horse. Yeah. I see a couple yeah. of horse answers huh. here. Okay, sorry folks. No, we would not have guessed animal. that. I didn't think an her. ostrich flew, but uh, anyway. <laughs> NBA is Memphis Grizzlies formed playing in what Canadian city? Did anybody chime in on this one? Yeah, I don't know either. Montreal. Okay. Vancouver. Ooh. Yeah, I was close. Uh, okay. At least I was in Cana uh, Canada. Mm -hmm. What fruit is thrown at the annual food fight festival held in Bueno, Spain? Now, I'm going to say tomatoes, and somebody else said... Brad had tomatoes. Okay, I'll say tomatoes, too. Let's see here. There is a... Um, yes! Tomato, yay! There is a fight. Bravo. Yeah. Okay, very good. Bravo. All right. What late disc jockey was the voice of Shaggy and in the I cartoons? Come on, Brad. Where are you? We don't know. We don't know. We, we can't remember Casey Kasem? Top 40, huh. Casey Kasem. Let's see here. Shaggy dude. Casey yeah, Kasem. I am right. Yeah. I am right. Good job, <laughs> yeah, brother Keith. Yeah. All right. Who was the first ever wrestler to be inducted <coughs> to the WWE Hall of Fame? I'm going to say Hulk Hogan. Is that the LeVar Burton? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Or is that a different answer? <laughs> yeah, it's a different one. <laughs> I, I don't know who that is. Uh, Pipe down over there. I'm, I'm, uh, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there. that's what I was looking All for. All right, here we go. Andre the Giant. Oh, okay. Andre the Giant. Yeah. yeah. Did okay. We do, did we do some about him a couple weeks ago? The ancient Egyptian symbol Ouroboros depicts a serpent eating what? Falafel. Tomato? I don't know. Its own tail. Oh, Yikes. Okay, wow. Well, no. How awkward. All right. Next generation actor hosted this children's show, Reading Rainbow. LeVar Burton, there it is. Yep. All right, thanks, guys. And and we got uh, Linda, or, uh, Natalie. Yeah. Natalie good got job, it. Natalie. Brad got it. Uh, yes. Very good, guys. All right. right, that's good. Okay, so that gets us out and of And I our... believe LeVar Burton was also in Roots. And he's not that old, or maybe he's old, because I remember in uh, The Next Generation, he looked like a kid. So uh, he must have been a real kid when he was in Roots. Okay. Anyway, anyway he said he. A uh, long career, long fruitful career. Wow! I just keep dragging. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah, yeah. Are we ready for the yes. uh, birthday minute? <laughs> yeah, let's do the birthday minute. Uh, I guess we have to get into the birthday minute. Yeah. Okay. So, are you ready to hit the birthday minute intro uh, right there? Yep. It's number yep. two. Mm -hmm. Yep. Number two. And, Let and me just find a little it up side here. note there. I still haven't gotten my prescription glasses. Wow, so surprise. I have. I'm pretty sure we're somewhere in Pennsylvania, but uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, here we go. And now it's time for the Smack and Jack's birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. 
birthday, baby. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Everybody who has a yeah, birthday. Kind of explosive today. there. <laughs> All right. What we got going on? Very explosive. There. Yeah, let's let's uh, get this thing going. We're running a little long as usual. Uh, this day, I got a couple of celebrities here. This day, 1958, mm-hmm. Ellen DeGeneres was born. Uh, comedian, talk show host. She's been around for quite a long time. Ellen DeGeneres. It, what year was that? 1958. Oh, okay. She was born. All right. So she's a couple of years older than I am. Yeah. Wayne Gretzky, everybody's favorite uh, hockey player. Yeah. Born this day in 1961. Happy birthday, Wayne. Uh, Eddie Van Halen, the guitar wizard of modern rock and roll, uh, one of the greatest bands ever. Uh, I can't remember the band he was in, Eddie Van Halen. If anybody knows what band yeah. Eddie Van Halen was just in. Just chime in. Yeah, just, just chime in. I, I'm kind of... A little off this morning. Anyway, he was born in 1955 on this day. Guitar player. Great, great dude. Uh, Lucinda Williams also. I actually saw her this summer. She's a singer-songwriter. Born this day in 1953. Uh, Bob, who the heck is that? Ferrer? That's not... (laughs) I have no Vila? idea. Not Bob Veal. He's older than Not that. Bob Veal. Well, we're going to have to get back to that. I wrote it down, and I can't even re- read that. Anyway, wow. Paul Newman was born this day in 1925. Good old Paul wow, Newman. Nice. Great American actor. So, <laughs> Brad Clinton. <laughs> Helen. I hope you're laughing, Brad. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. So. All right, what's All right, going well, on? Let's go closer to home. Our friends' birthdays today. We're going to start with... Uh, what is today? Today happens to be the, the 26th, right? Yeah. Uh, January the 26th, yeah, yeah. 2019. Wow. All right. So today we start with, we have Michael and we have Steve today. Happy birthday, guys. Woo-hoo! Today on the 26th. All right. Going on to tomorrow, the 27th, we have Andrea. We have Steve. Tomorrow as well. Happy okay. birthday. Uh-huh. Happy birthday. On Monday, we're going to celebrate the birthdays of Heather and Mary Beth. Happy birthday Woo-hoo! on Monday, guys. And on Tuesday, you right there? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing just <laughs> On right. Tuesday, we're going to celebrate Ed, Greg, and Michael. Happy birthday, guys. Ed, I hope by then your, your thumb's feeling a little bit better. All right. And on Wednesday, we have a very special birthday day. We yes, have we do. Barbara. Oh, happy happy birthday. birthday, Barbara. And then we have Brad. Woo-hoo! Brad, you're watching. Happy Brad. birthday. And because Brad has a birthday, his brother Brian also has a birthday. It's kind of weird. I always forget. They always have the birthday on the same on day. On the same day. They must yeah. be related. All right. And then we have Christy on Wednesday as well. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Great day on Wednesday. On the 31st Thursday, we have a whole list of people. We have Bill, Connell, Corey, Eric, Jen and Laurie. Ooh, wow. Happy, big day. Birthday Happy birthday on everybody. January the, on the 31st. last day of the month. Yeah, that's a big day. Yeah. All right, Friday, February 1st, we're going to go with Charles and Wendy. Happy birthday, guys. And guess what? Next Saturday is Groundhog Day. Okay. February the 2nd. Oh, yes, it is. And we're going right. to celebrate with David and Carl's birthday. Happy right. birthday, Happy birthday folks. everybody. So, if you have a right. birthday this week coming up, we hope that you have a fantastic week. Yeah. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great week. Somebody buys you a drink, maybe dinner, or maybe even does a little bit of cleaning for you. There you go. Yeah, happy yeah. birthday. All right, ready for okay. the birthday outro uh, there? Wait, hold on. Outro? There we go. All right, here we go. And that was the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Whew. Yeah, so Boy, you I see, you, that um, was a marathon. That was that was a lot of birthdays yeah. this week. Good and uh, we have we have to be more coordinated now, he and I, because Keith's more in charge of the sound over yes. there, so he needs to know what button to push. Right, and, what time, and Joel's more in charge here. of telling Keith what to do <laughs> to do the sound. It's kind of a uh, talk, talk about a task. Oh, I tell you. And I am. I'm really bad at multitasking to begin yeah, I with. Am too. And if I got to focus here and then also focus on what he's. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you what. So, anyway, it looks like yeah. we're about done, Joel. What kind of time we got? Do we have a good show? Yeah, I think yeah. we're, you know, we're about a half hour. Uh, here. All right. So well, right thanks for there. stopping by, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what are we doing next week? Are we going to stop by next week? Yeah, we we'll be around on? next week. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm looking forward to it. Always, like I said, I always enjoy having a cup of coffee with you this morning. In the mornings, Joel, Saturday mornings, uh, and with you guys. Thanks for stopping yeah. by every Saturday morning. We enjoy it. I mean, you got to have a cup of coffee anyway, so you might as well sit back. I said you might as well sit back and have a cup of coffee with us. Uh, anyway, remember, ladies and gentlemen, you deserve a thought of your own. So, be in touch.
touch. And we will see you next week. Learn, last, and live. We have to start saying it. Okay. That's my <laughs> Learn, laugh, live. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. All right. Check up your inbox. Check it up, check it up.